Most small and medium business owners I know are very clear about how much revenue their business generates. What they're less clear about is what their break even point is on a monthly basis. In other words, do you know how much money your business needs to generate this month in order to break even? Knowing this figure gives us a specific target when planning our capacity and growth strategies. So today we're going to go through a very simple approach that I use to help a business understand where that break even point is and therefore what their formula is for profit. The first step we need to do is understand what a business's fixed costs are. Now these, by virtue of being fixed, are a straight line. This is analogous to the giant pool of money that you put on the roulette table at the start of every month as a business owner. If it costs you $10,000 to open the doors, $50,000, a million dollars every month to run your business, those are fixed costs. Things like your rent, most of your staff, a lot of expenses, overheads, leases, software, all of those things are going to be the same regardless of whether you sell a dime worth of actual business services. So we need to understand those fixed costs and then we need to separate out the variable costs within your business. Now these are costs that you will only incur when you sell your product. Almost by definition, they are a percentage of your revenue. And I say almost by definition because if you find that your variable costs in and of themselves exceed the actual revenue that you generate from that product, then you've got a dog of a business. You're going out of business backwards. I'm not a believer in loss leaders. I can certainly understand that some products or services may have a lower margin, but you don't want to create a business where for every dollar of revenue you generate, your variable costs are more than a dollar. Because remember, the variable costs are going to sit on top of the fixed costs, those overheads that you can't get out of. Now by virtue of your variable costs being a percentage of revenue, you can start to calculate, well for every extra dollar of revenue I generate, what extra variable costs will I incur? This might be the cost of goods sold, the cost of the actual products that you're on selling, or the cost of the materials that your team use when delivering those services. I know some businesses where their variable costs are one or two cents on the dollar, they're very, very fixed overheads. And I know some businesses where their variable costs are much, much higher by virtue of the fact that they are on selling a product at a low margin. If your financial reports, your profit and loss statement does not separate out fixed and variable costs, then you will struggle to discover, which is the point of this exercise, where exactly your break even point is. Because your break even point is calculated by adding the variable costs on top of the fixed costs and working out where the revenue crosses the line. Everything that your business generates over and above that break even point is profit. This is a situation where all of the fixed costs have been met, where you have exceeded the gateway on those variable costs and moving forward, you continue to grow the margin as a percentage over the top of those variable costs. As you can see, understanding where that break even point is gives you a specific target each month that you need to hit as early as possible in the month so that you can exceed and build out that profit. Now there's other ways of calculating this and there are other more complicated elements like knowing your cash break even point which of these expenses and which of this revenue is actually cash as opposed to being calculated by your accountant in another way. And often the cash break even point is a little bit higher. So you can actually find as a business that you exceed the break even point we've calculated today, but your cash flow continues to go backwards. If you're finding that's the situation, then you definitely need to do a more detailed analysis of your profit formula. This is something that your accountant is definitely able to help you out with. And as I say, a good account will always pay for themselves when it comes to helping you to grow your business. And hopefully today you've seen, just using those four simple elements, 
fixed costs, variable costs, your revenue, and then ideally that profit, how you can calculate this number for yourself.